So let's go to the terminal here and put the chat right here on the bottom right. And again, if you have any questions, just let me know. I'm going to see the chat pretty much at real time. So let's get started. Let's just open the terminal here a little bit bigger. And let's simply create a new Laravel application uh, by typing something like Laravel new. Okay. And I'm going to choose no starter kit because typically like you can choose if you want to Laravel breeze right here, but I want to show you kind of the full step, the entire steps of requiring the package through composer and do uh, all the commands, all the artisan commands uh, on the terminal as well. So I'm going to type no starter kit. I'm going to choose the best testing framework in the world. And by the way, are you guys already converted for past? Are you guys using this new thing? Or are you guys still using PHP unit? Okay, let me know. Let me know in the chat. I'm curious to see your option regarding the testing framework. This coffee is great, by the way. Uh, so I'm going to choose past. And obviously, I don't need a GitHub repository for now. So I'm going to just choose no on the GitHub repository. And this will pretty much start a fresh lot of application right there uh, on the terminal. And I can see already people on the chat saying that they choose past. Dudes, you, are, you have green card to be on this live stream. You know what I mean? This is the people I'm looking to, working, to work with, you know? Everyone's choosing past. Thank you so much. That's a cool thing. I'm also a past user, of course, as past creator, but also I have kind of built that framework for my own needs. So I'm very happy about the result of that testing framework. Now, I can see that the application is ready and build it in ready to build something new, so I can simply go CD Laravel to jump into my Laravel project. Now, let's just follow the instructions here. I'm going to click on the Laravel Breeze installation process, and I can see that the very first step I have to do is require the package through Composer. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to simply type Composer require Laravel slash Breeze dash dash dev, okay? Uh, Let's type enter, and I can see that Laravel Breeze, it's being required here on my terminal, okay? So let's just clear our terminal and continue to follow all the instructions. I can see that the next step is type Breeze install, so let's just do that, uh, copy-paste here, Breeze install, and here we have finally the new LiveWire option appearing on this prompts library we have at Laravel. So it's asking me which Breeze stack would you like to install, and I, can have, I have the Blade option, as you have seen before, the LiveWire, which is a new one, React, View, and API only, and the LiveWire option is the new one. By the way, have you checked how awesome this new prompt library is? You, I don't know if you noticed, but this entire thing, like this entire question, this entire UI for the console is something new, something we have built and shipped, uh, I don't know, probably two months ago during the Laracon US times. And I love this new terminal UI. Let me know what you think on the chat. Okay, so I'm going to choose Livewire just to get started. Livewire with Alpine GS, which is the framework that is built in on Alpine. And I'm going to type yes because I wish dark mode. And I can already see that uh, we have passed pre-selected as a default testing framework. I can see on the chat that um, one of you said, did you know, I did not know about the API only option. Could save me some time. That's right. You know, sometimes we ship stuff on Laravel that some people are not aware about. And that's normal because we communicate about those features on uh, Gita, but sometimes on Twitter. And it's normal that sometimes people don't simply see those new uh, features. Uh, what I would recommend you there is ask to your... Um, Obviously, if you, have, if you are self-employed, you don't need that. But uh, if you work for somebody else, just ask for two hours a week or even one hour a week just to keep up with some of the stuff we ship um, at Laravel during the week. But also keep up with just PHP features and new PHP packages from the community, which is a good thing. Uh, Beard Coder is saying, Laracon South Africa, Cape Town. Please, no, no. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, I don't control, I don't have any power over uh, where a lot of cons sh should be. What I can recommend you, though, 
is start yourself just a regular meetup, you know, just a regular meetup called the Laravel meetup, for example, and start building your own community there. And maybe someday um, there is a potential opportunity to have a Laracon there. I know that, for example, Laracon India uh, is something that is official now, but they had like years on, of years of Laravel meetups on India, and that's why we know that there is a lot of organization there, and we trust those people to build a new, fresh Laracon. Uh, and I think they just announced the dates for next year, so you might want to double check that. All right, so that being said, uh, I can see that I've just installed Livewire on this fresh Laravel application, and what I do expect to have to do now is kind of configure some of the environment variables uh, because obviously I use my favorite database driver in the world, SQLite. I don't know what you guys think, but for me, SQLite is my favorite database driver in the planet. You know what I mean? I use it all the time. So SQLite for my database, and I think that's it. I think we are good to migrate or apply the migrations of Laravel Breeze. And if I type it, I can see already that thanks to Laravel is um, prompts API. I get to see the SQLite database does not exist. Do you wish to create it? And the answer is yes. And now I have my, my migrations uh, run as well. Uh, Francisco Madeira is asking me, even for production with the devil emoji, Fuck yeah, dude. Yes, SQLite for production is dope. And people is underrated, you know? People don't use it, but they should sometimes. It's just so simple. So migrations run, which typically means that we should be good to go. So I'm going to open Google Chrome here, and I'm going to open a new tab. And this new tab will be laravel.test. And that's it. We have our application already answering with this welcome view page, I can log in if I want to, I can register my users if I want to, so everything really just works. Now, I have a couple of things to show you regarding Breeze. We are going to cover some of the Breeze features, probably some of them you are already aware about it, but I wanna show you some of the tweaks I have done with Livewire, because all of this stuff, all of these features, login, reg register, profile management, everything is built on top of Livewire. So if I open this project with Sublime Text and I go to Resources, Views, Livewire, I can see already all these Livewire components uh, appearing here on the left. I can see Pages, the Confirm Password page. I can see the navigation stuff as well. Everything fully powered. Uh, with Laravel Livewire, okay? Uh, Tutu is saying I'm only 50 minutes late. That's right, you are late. I'm starting, at, so if I schedule a live stream for 3 p.m., I'm starting at 3 p.m. Um, so I probably will start a live stream like five minutes before just to allow people to come up. So basically will be the screen saying starting soon, but at 3 p.m., I'm starting the live stream um, for everyone, so that's pretty much uh, um, the schedule, okay? So as I was saying, a lot to cover up here. Uh, let's start talking a little bit about some of the stuff we have here, okay? So every new page, like login, register, is a new Livewire component, okay? So if I go to login, for example, which is right here, and I get to see the logo, the email and password, that is pretty much a full page live wire component. Uh, and as a full page live wire component, I need to specify the layout um, and kind of uh, specify the template as well just below. And just to address a little bit the big elephant in the room, um, we are using Livewire Vault here. Okay, and I want to demystify a little bit uh, Livewire Vault so you guys can understand what this Livewire Vault is really about. Okay, so typically uh, on 
regular Livewire, let's say Livewire 2, for example, you would have the template under the views directory, which will be just right here, the entire template. However, the component itself would be on applications, HTTP, Livewire, and then it would have a class for the component. However, thanks to Laravel Vault or Livewire Vault, we can now have that PHP code on the same place of the template. Now, this may sound confusing at first, but I can promise you, once you get used to it, it really feels good. Um, and just for the reason of everything that changes, changes together. Uh, I'm gonna give you an example. Classes belong, CSS classes are on the same template of the HTML, thanks to Tailwind, and we can put that together with a given HTML. We can also have this full Livewire component just next to the template. So when I click, for example, on the login button, which is right here, you can see that if I type uh, login, I can see this wire submit login, and I have the code of the login button just right here on the same view. So I don't have to jump between tabs. Everything is just close together and I can just interact with my code as easy as that, okay? So I'm gonna just take a zip of coffee and uh, jump a little bit into this topic. Now, still a little bit about Vault. There is this misconception that Vault is only about the new functional API. So if I click on my Google Chrome, I have this uh, Vault documentation which immediately starts with the functional API we have on Vault. But before we talk about the function API, it's important to consider that you can use this functional API, but also at the same time, if you want to, you can use the class-based API that traditionally you would use with Laravel Livewire, okay? So you can use the API you prefer, similar to view options or view functional API. With Vault, you can use your favorite API to build your Livewire components. Personally, I am a big fan of the functional API, and we are going to talk about that today. I'm gonna to show you some really good examples of the functional API. However, if you are, if you are already very familiar with the class-based API and you like it, you can just use it. It's, um, it's really up to preference. Um, and again, personally, I'm a big fan of the functional API. I have done some React in the past and Vue, so I'm very comfortable with that API. However, if you are not up to learning, you can simply use this class-based API and everything is also very good, okay? Let me know in the chat. If you have used it Vault, what is your favorite API already, okay? And let's chat a little bit about that. Now, back to Sublime Text. So we have covered that the stubs published by Laravel Breeze are fully written with Livewire, but also using this Vault API, which allows us to have the component, but also the template exactly on the same file. Now, let's talk a little bit about some of the underlying features I have used, and one of them you already have seen. Uh, so if I click, for example, on Login or Register, I'm answering with a full page Livewire component, meaning that I have the login component right here, which is this one, but I'm also having this register, for example, uh, component, which is responsible to answer the register uh, route. 